All right, so yesterday I ate uh, this little pain au chocolat and this is the impact it had on my blood sugar. Pretty bad, obviously, because it's quite sweet. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to eat the exact same thing again and then I'm going to go for a brisk walk and see exactly if it's going to uh, lower my sugar spike. In a pain au chocolat like this, it's actually pretty bad because there is 34 grams of carbs and 12 grams of sugar with very little proteins and very little healthy things in there. I'm quite curious to see if walking is going to make it much better though. Let's see. All right, it's now been two hours since I ate my pain au chocolat and then went for a walk for 15 minutes and we're going to look at the glucose monitor to see exactly what it did to my blood sugar. So this is the curve when I ate the croissant alone. Big spike, about, what, 55, 60 milligrams. And today, this is what it did to my blood sugar after walking for 15 minutes. So it's a very good improvement, honestly, when we look at both of them together. So I always recommend, if you can, to go for a little walk after you eat anything. It's always better. Tomorrow, I'm going to eat the world's most famous pastry, which is the croissant, and I'm really curious to see what it will do.